Hey everybody, it's Ebo620 here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last part, uh, we started go going into the volcano. So yeah, fun stuff. Got some more treasures. Another Grey Worm. Doesn't he just look lovely? There we go. Uh, uh. I hate that you could click empty space and, and pull up a message box. It's like... I know there's nothing there. I can see that. <laughs> Another... Man, y'all are friggin' everywhere. What the... Eh? Hey! That was weird. Ugh. Piece of crap. Oh, it's because of once that stupid Apple software automatic update th box thing popped up, and that's why I couldn't control things. That Ugh, stupidness. There we go. And yeah, we've got another level up already. Wow, really leveling up fast here. Let's see. Yes, level six magic is available now. Very nice. We shouldn't need it for this dungeon though, so we're gonna skip it until later. Let's see, pure, some money. Another ice sword. Very good. Very, very good. Yes, give that to Edge right away. Very, very good. Ah! Okay. Yes. And another Grey Worm. This is a preemptive strike, we're just gonna fight him the old fashioned way. Actually, there's no reason not to use this stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all that. There we go. Ah. There we go. Ha ha. Can't hold it anymore. Uh -huh. Let's see, we'll get rid of that buckler, we don't need it no more. Flame Shield, nice. Very nice. Let's see. There we go, we'll get that to Edge. Ooh, yeah. He's able to defend against more and more. I'm telling you, once once the thief becomes a ninja, he's, he's actually not a bad party member to have around. Oh, wow. That was pathetic. Oh, come on now. What, what, what you two gonna do? You gonna try to scorch me? Oh, just die now, please. Thank you. Empty. <sighs> Again with the empty treasure boxes. Why? <sighs> Agamas. These guys are actually pretty easy, and they're... Spoils are pretty good, so they're not too, they're not too terribly bad to uh, grind on. See, that, I mean, it's not really that much of a, that much of a damaging attack, and it's worth that much. It's really not a bad guy to tr to train on. Worth a good amount of experience points. A wooden st you got to be kidding me. Worth a good amount of experience points, and uh, yeah. Oh, and as luck would have it, um, Agamas guard both of the treasure chests in this room, so if you want to grind on them, all you have to do is just keep on going up and down, up and down, up and down, and you just keep on fighting them over and over and over again. These really aren't, aren't, really are pretty good guys to level up on. They're worth a decent amount of money, too, so that's always nice. So like as long as you got someone constantly using the heal staff, you shouldn't get uh, too terribly beat up. So you don't have to waste too many heals on this. So yeah, it's it's a pretty good spot to level up on. However, I feel that our levels are adequate for now, so we're just going to keep moving on. There are better spots to level up than this later on down the road. But if you're like... 
if you went to the volcano before uh, the ice cave, then that's not a bad place to level up on. Yeah, yeah, you and your stupid cremate. Alright. You'll see that there are several paths to go on. There are several rooms in here, but there is only one place that actually has treasure. So, yeah. We're gonna go get that treasure. Red giant. Red giant. Let's see. Come on, let's get a move on it here. Okay, we're gonna go like that, like that, like that, like that. There we go. Now. Oh, die already. Thank you. Ooh, not too bad. Don't. Don't. Hmm. I think we might be able to fit carry into this part. Here we have to fight the Nagamas of required battle. Do that and that. Go. Heal us up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in stupid heat. Ooh, one damage. I'm so scared. And here we have to fight a flame dragon. These guys are kind of bad. I don't like them. Or red dragon, whatever. Flame dragon, red dragon, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I don't like these guys. They, they use a blaze spell, which is more or less the equivalent of blizzard, just a fire version of it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't like him. But fortunately, he's being nice and just using physical attacks. Worth good spoils, though. I mean, 4,000 gold per, per guy, that's, that's not too bad. But I wouldn't recommend training on him just because it's just... Yeah, it, it, that'll that'll beat you up pretty good. Okay, I'll drop that thing there. Flame armor. Let's see. Let's see, forty-eight right now. And if we do this, if we trade that for that. Fifty-eight. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Now, now his now his defense is the same as uh as the others, so yeah, very nice. Come on now. Get a move on there. What? That thing only had, oh my god, you had only one HP left, you mother. Uh. Alright, and over here. Ugh. Gray worms interrupting me. There we go. Day. And over here, we have Carry. First off, we're going to heal up. There we go. Yeah, we'll get everybody a full health for this one. And one moment while I set everything up for the battle. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Ah. Okay, made a little mistake there. Forgot to turn the uh, sound of the game off. There we go. Is it you, the tender that can be the fiend of the earth and disturb my sleep? I carry will now show you the force of fire, and you shall burn in its flames. Alright, this is Carry. Yay. Um, as far as I know, Carry doesn't really have that any, like, elemental weaknesses. Not any in particular. Not worth noticing, not worth noting anyways. Uh, we're gonna definitely want to use a fire, because this, this uh, guy does, does use uh, fire spells. And like the ledge battle, we're going to fast Nero, which happened first again. Yes. Ow, five hits. That's a lot. Good thing we have all that stuff. Oh, uh, Carrie also has 600 HP. Defend fire. All right, here we go. 
Zap that. Let's And we'll also fast today. Whew! Yay! Oakland went first again. Very good. This battle's gonna go very smooth. See, lightning isn't particularly effective. Ow! Critical hit! Oh yeah, keep my critical hit. But yeah, fast is an amazing spell in this game. I love it. We'll go ahead and use skill too, as soon as we can. Um. I guess I'll use ice too. Ah, there we go. Carry is down. Here's the funny thing those Akamas we were fighting were worth the exact same amount of experience. So, yeah. <laughs> Funny thing there. Alright. And now, this orb is lit. Woo! Alright. Now we're gonna get things back to normal. One sec. Alrighty. And we are back. Let's see. Nero's orb got lit. Yay! Wow. That fight went really well. Haha. <laughs> Very nice. Now we got a bunch of stuff that we can sell off. And you know what? I'm going to be nice and uh, do that off screen, so give me one moment. Alright. And now we sold our junk off. Um, I know I've been uh, showing me so selling off my junk and stuff a lot. Uh, sorry about that. I haven't really been thinking about it. Um... We also uh, went ahead and taught uh, Unit the Exit spell and the Fog 2 spell. And we also uh, taught Okra the Lightning 3 spell. So yeah, that's fine and dandy. Um, you want to make sure that you have at least 40,000 gold to spare. So that you can move on for the, uh, for the next dungeon. Um, let's see... Here's a nice little uh, Easter egg. Normally, you would think that you have to land over here and travel to go to the Oasis, but in this version of the game, you can land on top of the Oasis. It's the only time that you can actually land on a square in the desert. You go over here, and now you're in the Oasis. Oh! Oh, it costs 50? Aww. I thought it was 40. Crap. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to get some money. Okay, we're back. I uh, just uh, swung by the Hall of Giants real quick in the Earth Cave and uh, got a little bit of money off of the Giants, so woohoo. God, I'm poor again. Yeah, like I said, you don't have money. You never. Once you think that you have money in this game, you don't. You really don't. Let's see. And with that bottle, we go over to this town here. Zoom. Nah, not in here. All right. Ah, come on now. Here we go. And at this little lake, we use the bottle that we just got. Pop, a fairy appears and then is gone. Trap me in the bottle. I'll draw water, Oxel, from the bottom of the spring for you. Yes, Oxel. We will need that for the uh, water shrine, which uh, I guess we'll get to in the next part. See you then. <laughs>